recently a viewer out here, and uh, thank you for suggesting it. Uh, I can't pronounce your username, so I'll put it in the credits. Uh, suggested that we take a look at PairOS. And PairOS is, as their website states, the free alternative to macOS while having the ability to enjoy all the advantages of an open source Linux distro. And looking at it, it looks like a, another Linux distro that really tries to mimic the look and feel of macOS. And I had to do a little bit of digging here to find out what this is. And it is basically a Arch Linux based distro with a KDE Plasma as the desktop that's been heavily themed. So when you say to get PairOS, it takes you to another sub uh, website called Nice Core Peros, and then it gives you a bit of a closer look as what uh, this has got on going here. So instead of just browsing through the website, I've downloaded the ISO and thought, hey, let's uh, take a look at it. Okay, Peros installer. And I'm going to hit uh, to start it up. Now, I'm going to already warn you, I'm not going to show you this OS once it's installed because I've tried on five different occasions by using VirtualBox, by using Boxes, using KVM, Virt Manager, you name it, and I cannot get this thing installed. It goes through the installation process, which is the last step, which I'll show you towards the end of the video, and then it just doesn't do what it needs to do, unfortunately. I even looked on their website, followed the website instructions and video, and it, I, it just doesn't work to install. Okay, so this is uh, the interface you get welcome to. I'm just gonna uh, change resolution. So I'm gonna go to system settings down here. And here we go, we now have this uh, display fixed. If you look at the about system, it tells you it's PairOS from NiceCore. It's telling you it's using uh, 6.18 of the Arch kernel and Plasma 5.265. Yeah, and this is what you get greeted straight out the box. It really has been themed quite heavily. So let's take a look at the items. Um, if I right click normal KDE options, configurable desktop, wallpaper, display settings, create new folders and text files. That's not interesting, but let's work at it from here. Left side, of course, uh, if I click on about this parentosh, it gives a very similar system overview as what Mac does. So it tells us basic of the machine, display, uh, storage, support, has no OS <laughs> uh, warranty and uh, the service. Coming soon, pay books. Anyway, if I click on system report, nothing happens. I click on software update, nothing seems to happen. Display preferences, uh, KDE display config opens up. If I click on manage here, nothing happens. And uh, I would assume this will take one to a website or forum. Then if I click on system preferences, it opens up the KDE quick settings, which makes sense to do that. Uh, if I click on App Store, it should open up the software catalog, which uh, if we see here is the normal GNOME uh, software store. And if I click on software repos, Okay, that doesn't seem to work. If I click on play, okay, I can't seem to get this still to actually load. But it does know what updates are available for the system. Which of course I can't do since it's a uh, live uh, OS. Okay, well that's that. Uh, moving on, there's a force quit option. So you can force quit whatever application in the traditional sleep restart shutdown uh, options there, pretty nifty. On the right hand side, if I click on this, we have the, the status and notification area, volume icon, network option, a 
battery option for power management search uh, a sidebar which in this case shows us the time and a system clock okay so at the bottom if I click on files uh, we get a heavily themed tradition of files from GNOME and uh, I suppose it's the closest to looking like Mac OS, so I suspect that's why they used that instead of console. Then they've got Launchpad, which gives you an overview of all the applications that least installed on the machine, or it should. Uh, I should cut to Rhythmbox, uh, and of course there's also the Discover uh, app stores installed here as well, I see, so it's got two app stores, but uh, that doesn't seem to work. Okay. Uh, Rhythmbox doesn't do anything. Uh, downloads, shortcut to a folder. Okay, so how do we get to a terminal? And so we go to the launch pad, I suspect, type in terminal. And then we get to, I get to console. Okay, so I'm going to first do a Echo shell, which in this case I believe is said is is a bash shell. Okay. Uh, let's. Does it have H top? No. Okay. Looking at top. Uh. Using about one point seven gigs of memory. Not too bad. Of course, on the ISO image, it really uh, doesn't use too much. Use about 1.7 gigs of on its ISO image as well. And uh, as we can see here, uh, kernel 6.1.8 uh, Archer's kernel. Really, really uh, interesting uh, going on here. I just want to check a on the mirror list here that they've got. I guess it looks like it's using the standard arch uh, mirrors. And it looks like they're using chaotic as well. Chaotic repos. Ugh. What am I doing? Cat. Chaotic. Okay, yeah, definitely looks like that's what they've uh, gone ahead and done. Okay, so pretty interesting there. So, I mean, great out the box. Looks it looks pretty polished. Can definitely see the whole aim that they're going for here. You know, a, a version of Arch that looks like Mac OS, and uh, I think they put it off really, really nicely. However, as much praise as I have for this. A little bit slow, I can understand it's a live machine, but it comes to the installation portion. And unfortunately, I'm going to show this to you, and once we launch it, uh, it just crashes. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what happens when one tries to install this thing. I hit install ParaOS. This, uh, those that have installed uh, macOS will see how familiar the screen is. You go next. It examines volumes. Gives you the option if you want to install from a packup. Get it? ParaOS, P for packup, yeah. And so ParaOS now is called open a Firefox instance on your computer with Gparted. So I first did the whole, I've done the Gparted, but create the partition, none of this helps. So as soon as I go to install ParaOS, and you say continue, and just go all the way down, and you agree to the license terms. You click on the disk, you say continue, my case it, it just gives an error and then it freezes the whole thing freezes okay but gosh maybe it installed in the back end yep let me show you now i have to do a force reset and guess what it never boots 
So they send the video that it disappoints, it boots uh, from the hard drive or the virtual hard drive and then uh, you can configure your username and password and do the rest of the walkthrough. But in this case I haven't been able to do that so maybe there's an updated ISO out there that I'm not aware of. So folks, yeah, uh, definitely interesting distro. Uh, it's Arch based, it has the looks of current macOS with the installability and stability of the old macOS. So look forward to seeing this get updated for future versions. And I'd love to hear your thoughts, comments below. As always, thank you for watching. Bye for now.